this is Earth and Space Science 8. It's the, it's the eighth session in the Earth and Space Science series of the Knowledge Catalog. And we are about to finish our fifth learning competency, learning competency number five, explain how different factors affect the climate of an area. And we are about to start a man, a new learning competency, which is describing certain climatic, climatic phenomena that occur on a, pheno on a global level. So, okay, that's not climatic, it's climatic. Okay, so note that difference. Okay, okay. So if you want to follow through with the learner's module, you can open it in Unit 3, Module 2, pages 41 to 42. Okay, let's begin. The three parts of this session will be the following. The first is a discussion about ocean currents, and it will be followed by activity number 5, temperature of different cities around the world. And then uh, it's going to be followed by another activity, which is uh, much like a, parang a diagram analysis lang that we will be doing on greenhouse effect. Okay, so um, let's begin with the first uh, part, a discussion. Okay, so um, this is a very familiar um, illustration for you. Yeah, it's the uh, it's a it's a map of the world. Yeah, okay. So it's a map of the world. <laughs> All right. So what this shows you, uh, though, are these um, arrows. Yung kulay red, it says here the warm current of air yon, and then the other one called the man, which is blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would like you to look at uh, these, you know, at these arrows, okay, all around the globe. Yung black na man, it represents uh, the general direction of the, of the wind. Okay, so alimbawa, in this case, the general direction of wind is paganito, so it's much, it's much like counterclockwise. Ne? Okay. Dito na, dito na man, the general direction of the wind is clockwise. Okay. So, uh, being known as the blue planet, natural lang uh, para, sa, ano, para sa planet natin na magkaroon ng weather system. <laughs> okay, so the Earth's weather system is an affair of the winds and water in as much as it is also affected by some landforms. So, yes, apektado ang, uh, apektado ang ating climate by certain landforms, by mountains, yeah, by bodies of water. Ayun, uh, pero it is uh, much like an affair of the winds and the uh, water. Yung tubig, yung tubig ng ating ano, yung makatubigan natin, yung nasa Dagat Pacifico, nasa may Indian uh, Sea, uh, and then yung iba pang mga seas and bodies, large bodies of water, such as oceans, other oceans, ayan. or even actually a small river, okay? May kakayahan ng mga yun na apekt, maapektuhan yung uh, climate, yung weather din. No place. Okay, so um, we are actually talking about hydrometeorology here, and it's much like uh, water in uh, the space, ne? Okay, so uh, because of the ano, because of the uh, presence of water in our planet, nagkaroon tayo ng atmosphere, nagkaroon din tayo ng mga weather system. And then, um, yung, yung water na mayroon tayo, since it is dealing with temperature, uh, nakakaroon siya ng mechanical energy. Okay, so it can turn uh, that thermal energy into mechanical energy because, again, let me repeat this, um, air tends to move depending on yung temperature na meron siya. So it's, if it's warmer, it tends to rise. If it's colder, it tends to sink. And because of that uh, rising sinking ano, action, okay, mechanism of air, ay nagkakaroon tayo ng mga iba't ibang mga weather system. So, that rising and sinking of air can happen in a particular area, in smaller, ano, in smaller uh, events, pero it can also be um, magnified, okay, to mean something as great as uh, the ocean currents. So, notice that um, in this illustration, um, the uh, west coast of the South American continent um, it receives cold current of wind, whereas its uh, east coast, it is uh, receiving a uh, hotter, um, it, it receives hotter uh, currents of wind. And then as uh, may west coast naman ng, ano, ng uh, continent na to, uh, this is the African, ne? African continent, ayan, uh, it is receiving cold air, and then sa may bandang east coast naman niya, nakareceive siya ng uh, warmer current. Sa atin sa Pilipinas, ayan, ayan, nurugo tayo, puro tayo, puro tayo warm, ayan. 
Uh, tapos sa uh, notice, uh, Australia. Yung Australia, um, our country continent right here. Okay, so sa may west coast yun, nakaka-receive siya ng uh, colder current. Sa may east coast naman yun, nakaka-receive siya ng uh, warm current. And why is that so? It's because of ocean currents. So the ano, the general uh, climate of the places, of the areas sa may mga west coast, ayan, right here, uh, they have a colder climate, whereas yung mga nasa may mga east coast naman, they have generally warmer climates. And so, uh, yun. Di ba? Bilis? Ocean currents. So, how does ocean currents affect the climate of a weather? Uh, climate of a weather. Climate of a place. So, kaya saan bawa? In the, in the east, like in the case of, of the Philippines, it is already in near the equator, so it will make it warm. More likely, the uh, climate here will be warmer compared to other, play, other parts of the world. Yes, that's one. And then, uh, since archipelagic tayo, uh, marami talaga tayo mga isla-isla, and hindi naman sila ganun, katataas. So, in terms of altitude, mababa tayo. So, um, I mean, um, mababa mostly yung mga places natin, yung mga areas natin. So, talagang warmer din in terms of altitude. And in terms of ano naman, of topography, um, well, that is case-to-case -case basis talaga siya. So, topography, we can't really talk about the uh, topography of the Philippines and conclude what kind of climate it will have. Um, pero because of our archipel archipelagic, ano, archipelagic uh, nature, nature ba ang tawag doon? <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure. Pero because we are archipelagic, um, our islands tends to have uh, more moderate uh, climates. Mas mo, na moderate yung climate nila because we are near bodies of water. They are surrounded by bodies of water. Marami tayong islands na surrounded by bodies of water. So again, that makes thermal regulation really easy for those islands. And in terms of the ano naman, ocean currents, ayan, um, east coast, our easter, eastern part is, ano, yun yung talagang merong connect sa, ano, sa, sa may body of water. So, ayan siya, warm siya. So, mainit talaga in terms of ocean currents din. Parang triple kill na tayo. Ito. Okay, so, we now proceed with the next part, which is activity number five. So, by the end of this activity, you should be able to do Kung ginawa natin kanina, we explained uh, the climate of a, we of a weather. <laughs> I keep on saying that. The climate of a place in terms of its latitude, in terms of its altitude, and in terms of its distance from the ocean. So what you need to use is uh, your, ano, you need to use your uh, science notebook or you need to get a piece of paper to do this activity. And then you also need a writing instrument such as a pencil. Okay, so uh, have it prepared, uh, have it ready. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do is to analyze the following table. Ayan siya. Okay, so uh, analyze the following table. So, the first column is the city. The second column, uh, it's, a, it's a column for the altitude in meters. Of these cities, so we're talking about uh, above sea level dito, no? So, Manila is only 13.1 above sea level. And in terms of temperature, yung all-time high naman niya, or average high is... Uh, in terms of Manila, it's 30 degrees Celsius, whereas its uh, average low is 26 degrees Celsius. So, it's a lot colder in Berlin, eh? 15 and uh, 2. And it's so much colder as uh, Warsaw, which is 11 and negative 1. So, I'll give you a moment to analyze this uh, table for yourselves. Uh, anytime you're ready, you can just uh, press play again. Okay, I think you are ready for the uh, questions. Okay, let's answer them. Question number one, which city had the highest temperature, has the highest temperature? That's uh, quite easy to spot. Okay, next, question number two. What factor do you think is the cause of high temperature in that city? Which factor? Do not forget, you are supposed to write your, your answers uh, on your sheet of paper. Question number three, which city has the lowest temperature? So in terms of uh, all-time low or average low, which among these cities has the lowest temperature? In terms of all-time high, then average high. If its average high is still quite low, it is still lower 
than other you know, cities, you can also consider that. Can you proceed now? Great. All right, so question number four. Uh, what factor do you think is the cause of low temperature in that city? So which, what factor do you think? And then a question number five, what factor do you think greatly affects the climate of Tokyo? So Tokyo is right here. Our altitude is about 20.1 meters above sea level. And then it's all time her average high is 21 degrees Celsius. And it's uh, all time low or uh, average low is 18 degrees Celsius. So what do you think is the uh, reason why Tokyo has uh, these temperature, temperature reading? You can pause this video if you need more time. Okay, if you have decided to continue, let's proceed with question number six. I think this is the last question in this activity. So how does the elevation of Paris or Paris affect its climate? So the elevation of Paris is 30 uh, meters above sea level. It has uh, an average high of 23 degrees Celsius. And it has an average low of 18 degrees Celsius. So, mm -hmm. how does the elevation of Paris affect its climate? Okay, I think you are ready to answer the question. So, let's proceed. The answer to question number one is Manila. It has the highest temperature in this table. Yes, uh, with uh, 30 degrees Celsius. And an all-time low of around 26 degrees Celsius. So compared compared to Cairo, okay, so in 31 niya, na ano naman siya ng 22. Okay, so yun yung low niya. So masyado malamig compared to 26 natin. Again, um, Cairo may have 31 degrees Celsius as its high. And ours is, I mean Manila has 30 but when it comes to lower temperatures, Skyru tends to have 22 degrees Celsius, which is a lot lower than 26 degrees Celsius. So, yeah, the city with the highest temperature is still Manila. Okay, let us proceed with question number two. The answer is, it is the altitude and the closeness to the equator. So, um, the altitude of Manila is 13.1 and uh, in our previous, uh, no, yes, we need to review our previous uh, books. Um, it is uh, very close to the equator. So yeah, those two factors played really important roles in the temperature of Manila. Okay, let us proceed with question number three. The answer is Vienna. Uh, this has the lowest temperature because the all-time high niya is negative 1 and its all-time low naman, average low is negative 6. So it has the lowest temperature in this table. And then, uh, the factor that affects uh, the uh, low temperature in Vienna is that its distance to the equator, okay, um, it has a great distance from the equator. And then it's uh, the farther the place from the equator kasi, we have to know this, and the lower the air temperature. Yeah, so... Okay. Question number five. Uh, what do you think, um, which factor do you think greatly affects the climate of Tokyo? So, the distance from a body of water affects the moderate climate of Tokyo. The closer a region to the bodies of water, the moderate the climate, the climate is. The farther from uh, bodies of water, the colder or warmer the climate. So, Tokyo has you know, 21 and 18. So, since uh, Tokyo is in a place in Japan, na medyo ano naman siya sa body of water, ayan, mas nag-regulate -re na maayos yung kanyang temperature. Hindi gaano malayo yung kanyang uh, temperature. Ne? Berlin, no? tignan nyo, ang layo ng uh, temperature reading nila. I must also say that Paris has a good thermoregulation. Ne? 23, 18, this one's 21, 18. Our naman, it's much like 30, 26, so yeah, okay din yung ating thermoregulation. Okay, so question number six. Uh, Paris has lower elevation. A place with low altitude tends to have higher temperature. So, ayan, Paris has 23 degrees Celsius because of its uh, low elevation. Okay, so... 
that's it for the second part of this uh, session, which is activity number five, temperature of different cities around the world. So para sana, no, mabisit natin, mabisit natin yung mga places na yan para makita natin for ourselves. <laughs> okay, so uh, the, next, uh, the next and last part of this session is um, activity, an activity on the diagram of greenhouse effects. So what we'll be doing is much like an introduction to uh, greenhouse effect, to uh, global warming, and to climate change. And so we start with greenhouse effect. You see here, uh, there's this yellow orb right here. Energy from the sun warms the earth. So, ayan siya. Yeah, and then uh, some escapes back into, this, into space. And then some is held by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So, the earth is about uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So, without the atmosphere, now, our, uh, no, our temperature will be an absolute 0 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so keep your, uh, no, your notebooks ready. And your uh, sheets of paper ready. Oh, major na una yung ano yung check natin. I'm so sorry, I was not able to switch that up. So the energy in the diagram that is uh, being transferred is solar energy. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, take note of that. Solar energy, and that solar energy, of course, it originates from the sun. And uh, the Earth's atmosphere can filter out some of the ultraviolet radiation. Okay, and then it can also trap some heat. Uh, that the surface reflects back to the space for thermoregulation of the planet. So, ang nangyayari dito is ganito. So, look at the diagram closely. Um, solar energy is produced by the sun, and that solar energy has thermal energy in it too, uh, which reaches the planet. Okay? And the planet uh, has an ability to filter out some of the UV radiation para di makabalik. Okay? May, may ganun siyang capability. And then, makapag reach sa atin, uh, it's much like a very, you know, a very weak version of that uh, strong UV radiation. Okay, so that radiation carries in itself thermal energy na pwede natin i-reflect pabalik sa space. Okay, pero, since we have a layer of the atmosphere na may mga greenhouse gases, natatrap yung ibang heat. And is that good? Actually, it's good. Okay, this is... Uh, actually, a, po a point in our discussion where I tell you that greenhouse effect is a natural process. Okay, so uh, we later on uh, see why what what went wrong. Okay, bakit ngayon ang greenhouse effect is uh, something that we are uh, we are ano, we are associating with the negative connotation. I mean, I mean with the ne with negative things. Why does it have a negative connotation to us? You'll know more about that. Uh, in the next uh, parts of this uh, series, okay? But for the meantime, we're done with the following uh, activities. So first is discussion on ocean currents and activity number five, which is uh, temperature of different cities around the world and diagram of greenhouse effect. So next time, you'll, uh, you can expect that the only learning competency will be finishing in Earth and Space Science for Climate and Weather will be lear learning competency number six, describing certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level. Okay, so this is Sir CJ on Lapids, and I hope that you learned something in this uh, session of the Earth and Space Science series of the Knowledge Catalog. I am hoping to see you soon uh, in the uh, soon. Hi, bye, sing soon. Sana makita ko kayo in the next uh, video uh, lesson. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and then uh, like this video. If you find uh, these interesting, you can hit that bell button, uh, the new notification bell for so that you'll be notified hi when i upload new content and uh support me uh through ano by giving me some ano by giving me some uh, positive comments or some directives okay, on how to do better next time uh in our in the videos that i'm producing i know i said a lot okay, but i'm really really excited to work with you thank you so much for ano for staying in this series of the knowledge catalog i'll see you in the next video